So how are we spending our Saturday afternoon? We got a big giant mess going on, but it's actually going to come together and look pretty good. My daughter's working on the doghouse over there. We, uh, she went and got some more pallets. We've been breaking them down. Uh, we had to find the long ones because the short pallets weren't quite, um, they didn't stretch for her. So, But for my project, my wife wants a thing down in the garden, kind of like the one I built for my mom. I'll show you a picture of that. And then, um, but my mom said that that one, you know, it's a great idea and everything, but it kind of, you know, the weather gets in there. Um, and we don't really need the little table platform like my mom's. So all I'm going to need is four of these bottom braces of the brackets. And I'll cut this one down. This is off of a pallet, so I'll just cut this one down right here to be the same size. Okay, so I got these uh, cut to length. I just picked four of them that we had out there already in the right size. And I'm gonna just nail the nails that you can't get out. Um, we got them flush so they don't interfere with anything. And I'm gonna quickly put this together. Um, my wife spends her lunch hour sometimes. She just loves going out in the garden. I think uh, moving here a few years ago is probably one of the best things that we've done. Um, she's gotten outside and does all kinds of stuff nowadays. So, you know, when we lived in the old house, uh, we had a small little garden and she went out a little bit, but um, it's much easier and uh, there's just a lot more to do out here. So I, th I think that was uh, a good choice to do three years ago and we've had a lot of fun. I've loved my shop and she loves her weeds and garden and, you know, just sitting out there and picking that stuff. So I'm going to put this together for her to have her little tools and some um, seven dust and just keep some things down there at the garden because it is a little ways and um, she's always found that she needs either uh, a pair of scissors or clips or something to, um, you know, when she's down there. And so as she slowly gets things gathered, she can just put it in the mailbox and uh, keep it down there. That way she doesn't have to walk back every time. Eventually she'll have everything that she needs using this jar of recycled uh, screws that we've had, taking them out of things that we've built or whatever. Um, nothing, nothing really going to be new here except for the mailbox. That's the only thing that we've bought for it. Pallets are kind of a pain to tear apart, but they're worth, worth it. You can use them for almost anything. is not going to make a perfect square because well pallet wood is always just a touch uh, touch different right um, never <laughs> never seems to be the same size exactly um, but as long as it goes together all I really want is a hole big enough to slide over the t-post right here so I'm just going to put these down as best I can and screw it together And all my batteries are dead. It's a good thing we have three. And we bought this big one for the saws. So, um, I guess we don't run out of battery. Okay, so there's that. This will just go over a T-post. And then we'll put the mailbox on top. And we bought this plastic one. So it'll hold up to the weather pretty well. Um, it should be in the shade so the sun won't tear it up too much, but they're only $15, so if it does, replace it every couple of years and you'll be good. But that'll be the idea. And then you just throw your, you know, string or uh, scissors or your prune shears, throw in your seven dust powder thing in there, whatever you need. All right, let me find a board for the bottom of this. Um, just mount it just like you normally would a, a mailbox. Okay, so I just went out and used one of the the wide pieces that Caitlin's not using for the doghouse. So I found this one out there, and it'll be about perfect. And I'm just going to mount this to the top of here, and then eyeball it, and I'm just going to put screws through the bottom here on these sections. Um, I put a couple screws in there to hold it down on there. And uh, then my wife will have her mailbox that she's always wanted 
That was one of the most disappointing things about moving out here was she thought she was going to get her a mailbox finally because, you know, in the, the box neighborhoods in town that we lived in for 20 years, um, we used to have the mailbox up at the beginning of the uh, entrance of the addition. Well, guess what? The street right over there has mailboxes, and two streets down, if you go that way, has mailboxes. But this main drag street, you have to go to the front entrance to your box mailbox. So she was pretty disappointed for that. So she, she laughed really one day. She sent me this picture off of Pinterest for the garden thing, and she said, hey, I can finally have my mailbox. <laughs> so, so we kind of have a joke with it as well, but she'll like it. Um, it was a little hard to get in there on the inside because this is, you know, and then you put a tip on here. So if you had one of those little handheld drivers, you know, I think they're they're a driver. It's all they, they sell them for like in your house for your junk drawer in the kitchen. Um, I've seen them Black and Decker ones at Home Depot and stuff, but they're just a little thing like that. That would have worked great to get inside there and do that. Or you can use a screwdriver, one of those short stubby screwdrivers. Um, anyway. That is it, and hopefully she will be happy with her mailbox. I'm gonna take it down, slide it over a T-post, and we'll see what it looks like in the garden. Okay, so I think this is a little tall for my wife. You know, it's right there. It's about perfect height for me. I wanna put it down just a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, dig down with the post hole diggers just about, I don't know, maybe a foot or two, and then reset the post. Gotta love this sand, makes it easy to dig. It's kind of simple, but just remember, get outside, try something. If you don't like it, oh well, at least you did something new. Don't be intimidated. And as they say, you can do anything for your wife, because a happy wife is a happy life. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.